welcome to my first ever ukulele tutorial. So one thing that I hear from a lot of people is that they own a ukulele and they have no idea how to play it. And a lot of people, maybe they bought it for their kids and their kids never really learned it or it's just hanging up on the wall as kind of a cool little piece of decoration. And they always say like, man, it'd be fun to learn. Or maybe people say, oh, I've thought about getting a ukulele. So what I thought I would share with you today is something that is so, so easy. It's just a fun little Hawaiian riff. So you don't have to try to sing and play at the same time, but it's something you can learn right off the bat, get going and feel really cool and just kind of be able to enjoy your instrument early on. Uh, Cause one of the things that I think is fun, I mean, I love to sing and play. In fact, I, it's probably why I started learning like the piano and the ukulele is so that I could sing with it. Um, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood to, or I just want to sit on the beach and not like really put on like a whole concert, <laughs> you know, I'd rather just kind of sit and jam. And so learning a couple fun little Hawaiian riffs is a really cool way to do that. So the first thing is that you need to tune your ukulele. There are so many free tuning apps. Um, I think I use Tuner Lite. It's L-I-T-E. I just say that because you'll listen to this video, say, oh, I can totally do that, and then go play your ukulele, and it's going to sound horrible, and you won't know why. So make sure you always, always tune. And if you do have a ukulele that doesn't get played often, it will probably go out of tune like midway through you playing. So just uh, keep an ear out for that. And if you need to retune halfway through, that's just kind of part of it. Now, I mean, I still tune every time before I play, but it's very rarely off. Like, you know, I really only have to like tune it probably every few weeks because I play it every day. The other little secret trick I want to show you is that if you are putting together Hawaiian riffs, I know that sounds like it would be complicated. Like you've got to do all this finger picking and do different things, but really we're just going to play chords. And guess what? You can play almost any chord that is a seventh and it sounds Hawaiian. So like... And those are actually the chords I'm going to be showing you in the riff today. And there are four chords that are super easy. Uh, one of them maybe is like a little bit more challenging, but I think you guys got it. And yeah, you can, in any order, really, in almost any combination, you can throw together a bunch of chords that are sevens and it works and it sounds good in Hawaiian together. So the very first chord is super easy. It's a seven. So it's just one, one little, I uh, got your finger down on one string and it sounds like this. And then the next chord is a D7, which now is only two fingers, and it's right next to it, so it's super easy. It's just these two should sound like this. Now the third one's a little trickier. It's a G7, but it's also a really natural hand position, so it's not like a weird trying to hit a bunch of different things. So you have three, three down. Should sound like this. And then the last one is another super easy one. It's C7 and it's only one as well. So really just slowly moving through it, it sounds like this. So I would recommend just moving through that, getting comfortable with those chords, and then you can start adding an easy strum pattern. So strumming is one of the things that throws people off the most when they're learning. Uh, but this one, it's, uh, it's something that you can play either fast or slow, which I'll demonstrate, and it still sounds really good. And that's what's cool about Hawaiian music, is you can play it really fast and it's fun, or you can play it super chill and it all sounds awesome. So the strum pattern I'm using here is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So again, once you get comfortable with the chords, just practice that. Here, I'll do it with a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And so here is how our riff is going to sound when we put that all together. Um, I'm going to play it kind of normal speed, and then I'm going to play a fast and a slow version just to illustrate how it can sound. And so if you're just getting started, maybe play it slow. Uh, that's 
it. So basically I'm spending an equal amount of time on all four chords and just kind of moving through them. Uh, if you wanted to speed it up, like once you get really confident, um, it will sound like this. So that would be really fast. And then something that would be just super slow and easy but still sound awesome is this. So one of the reasons why I put these four chords together for this simple Hawaiian riff is because you don't have to change your hand position, which can really throw people when you're getting started and also just makes it harder to switch between chords. So my, I'm basically like letting it rest in my hand and all of the chords are in these first two frets right here. So I don't even have to change my hand. I'm just doing stuff here. But if I had like a chord down here, a chord up here, like it would be really hard to move between them especially when you're getting started. And so this is like, boom, goes to this, goes to this, goes to this. And my hand position didn't have to move at all. So it makes it really seamless to move between them. It also makes it a lot easier to do that really fast um, riff once you get used to it. So the last piece of advice I wanna give is uh, with strumming. And it's, as you start getting faster, it's really important to think about loosening up your wrist. And so if you're trying to just kind of go up and down and keep your wrist connected, like you just kind of end up tripping over yourself a little bit and it's really hard to go fast and your arm's gonna get tired. So think about just kind of letting your wrist do its own thing. So. So I hope that some of you enjoyed this video and maybe found it helpful. Um, if you are one of those people that has a ukulele just sitting around the house and you haven't really known where to start, um, I hope that this was just a fun little thing and gets you to pick up your instrument and give it a try. And even if you are a more seasoned ukulele player, it's just, it's kind of fun to have these easy little riffs that you can just, you know, you just feel like chilling for a few minutes playing. You can just bust out your ook and just kind of jam to it. All right, bye guys.